Drive around the area, chances are you've had one of those. Parking tickets are a part of life. No one likes them. Most everyone has dealt with at least one and the feeling isn't great. So here's a big question for you tonight. Would you be more likely to pay a parking ticket if you could do so by donating food to a soup kitchen or a shelter? Thank you for joining us at 5. I'm Doug Profit. And I'm Paulina Budska. A Louisville lawmaker thinks that it's a good deal and her plan would let cities adopt this policy. It's very interesting. It just passed its first hurdle in Frankfurt unanimously. WHS 11's political editor Chris Williams tells us how it would work from the Capitol. Check out the pantry at Simon House in Frankfurt. Some of the shelves are nearly bare. Demand is high. Women and children find themselves on a waiting list for room at this shelter from life storms. Some of these people have been sleeping in their cars until they were able to get in here. But hope may be brewing just a few blocks away, where Louisville Democrat Representative Mackenzie Cantrell is pushing a plan some call food for fines or donations for citations. So they make the qualifying donation, they get a receipt, and then they get an offset or they can have their parking citation uh, satisfied altogether. HB 269 would allow local governments to create programs where people can get out from under parking tickets by donating goods to nonprofits. Representative Cantrell says a similar Lexington ordinance is having an impact. A uh, uh, good way to get have local government participate in our homeless and hunger programs and, and get qualifying donations for, uh, for those programs. Do you think people will take advantage of this? Because people don't pay their parking tickets as it is in many cases. So this is going on in Lexington already and they've seen huge success. So I think it's a wonderful idea. I Simon House Executive Director Rachel Foley can see it benefiting people with tickets, not just nonprofits. You know, if it's something that is going to help people pay their tickets when they may not be able to afford them and help low income members, why not? I mean, I think it's a great idea. It unanimously passed committee. If it becomes law, it would be optional, meaning it would be up to each individual municipality to decide how to run the program and which nonprofits would be eligible. At the Capitol, Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News.